Oh, uh, well, I I'm just getting ready to sign the paperwork to release the money that I uh, saved up for Jamie to the restitution fund. You're doing the right thing, Antonio. Yeah, well, I had no choice, you know that. Well, you could have fought it. Not after what the Santis did to that family. Well, that wasn't your fault. Yeah, well, this isn't my money. Well, the interest you're paying on it is. I shouldn't have taken that money in the first place. I'm glad to be rid of it. Why? But I'm afraid that I might be signing away my daughter's future. Yeah, okay, well, good luck with that. <clears throat> Two sugars, no cream. I noticed that's how you like it at home. Thanks. I mean, you're home. Thanks. <laughs> I, I'm, I do like it that way. But I think you should know it's not in your job description to make or fetch me coffee. Oh, but see, that's the one thing I know I'll get right. <laughs> well, I have to say, thank you. The geography research you did was great. Ladies! Wait a minute. Don't tell me you work here, too. Uh, no, I'm doing some freelance PI work for Clint and Bo. How's your job going? Fine. Better get back to it. Didn't I tell you you'd love her? Yes, you did. So what do you got for me? Uh, I looked into the safety violations in the Philly plant. <laughs> like I thought, it was a minor oversight, not a sabotage. It's great. No brainer. Be nice to have a case, it was a challenge. Well, I've got one for ya. I want you to find out everything you can on this man. Charlie Balsam. You want me to investigate my own dad. Okay, so what exactly did you tell Charlie? <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean just to blurt out that you and Dorian hated each other's guts. You phrased it like that? Pretty much. I was just really shocked when he was acting like the two of you were best buds. I, I don't understand. Why would you have wanted him to think that you guys were friends? <sighs> Something is wrong. Please, what is it? Why did you lie to me? What do you mean? You told me that you and Vicky were friends going way back. We do go way back. Yeah. But you've hated each other's guts since time immemorial, right? Well, I certainly never told Charlie that Dorian and I were friends. But you didn't tell him the whole truth. No, I, what's the point? And why I even accord Dorian the importance of discussing her? Well, because Dorian is a pretty important part of your life. You know, sweetheart, when I was in Paris, Texas, when I met Charlie, Dorian was the furthest thing from my mind, and that was probably the most refreshing thing about being in Texas. Well, besides meeting Charlie. Well, besides meeting Charlie, yes. You know what I don't understand? Why would Dorian not want him to know that you two hated each other? <laughs> Charlie, Vicky and I parted ways just a few minutes ago. She made it quite clear that the two of you have much better things to do than talk about yours truly. So what happened in the meantime? Did she corral you in the parking lot and give you a whole litany of my past misdeeds? Of course, omitting her own. No, Vicky never said a bad word about you. Someone else told me the truth. Someone else told you the truth? Hmm. Who and what truth? You were never Vicky's friend. So why do you care what I think about her? I don't, but I do care that when I found out that you two knew each other and that you had kept that from me, that you told me that you lied to protect Vicky. And that was a lie. Everything has been a lie. Not everything. And you want to talk about your wild string of coincidences. First, I find you run over in Asa Buchanan's driveway in Texas, and then I find out that you and Jared and Vicky all live here in Landview. That is wild, isn't it? Yes. Was that all a coincidence? What? I want to know what you really want from me, Dorian. <sighs> Who knows what Dorian is up to at any given time? Well, I know that you've had a lot going on, but maybe you should ask her. <laughs> Earlier today, I had a little chat with her. And what did she say? Oh, she's so happy <laughs> that things are working out so well for Charlie and me. And you don't believe her? What, are you kidding? Of course not. 
maybe this time uh, we will remember to shut the lids so that they don't dry out. And you know, this comes with painting lessons too. <laughs> You're very welcome, Niña Linda. Okay. Put your smock on and you can try it on. Well, she doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't have to. I'll just pick up a few more hours and, uh, and be a little more careful with my spending. I mean, she won't know the difference. It's the way we were raised, and hey, look how we turned out, right? You know, I talked to Blair. She's going to ask around, see if she can help us sell the Capricorn. Great. Maybe if we come up with a decent price, then I won't have to sell the loft. Listen, Antonio, I know you're worried about working for Ramsey, but um, I don't want you worrying about me. I actually got a job offer. But uh, I wanted to run it by you before I decided to take it. Hmm. Why? Because I'd be working for Nash Brennan. Hey, sorry I missed your call. My phone was on vibrate, but I uh, saw you left me a message. What's up? No, th that's OK. I, I actually, I sent somebody over there to meet you um, about doing artwork for the vineyard. I know how you wanted new labels and marketing. Yeah, great, absolutely. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about it when I tell you who it is. You see, oh, I, it's... Oh, honey, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to call you back. My meeting just turned up. But uh, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, okay, well, I, I love you. You too. Bye. Sorry I'm late. Thanks for waiting. My pleasure, no problem. As they say, mm, time is money, and I'm sure you're going to make it worth my time. <laughs> what was uh, that all about? Um... <sighs> I offered Christian a job at the winery doing artwork, but I didn't tell Nash about it, and now Christian's on his way over there to meet with him. That's why Chris was here earlier. And I know what you're going to say. There's a lifetime of history with me, Antonio, and Christian, and maybe I just shouldn't even go there. What? I mean, is that what you were thinking? I don't know. I just would like to think that maybe we're at a place where... <laughs> where we all could be friends, you know, or at least be civil with one another. Nash is so happy with the way the winery is going, and, and Christian can help him, and we can help Christian. Oh, well, sounds perfect for everyone. Yeah, you know, it's, that's what friends are for. Charlie, I really do wish I were as powerful as you seem to be implying. The way I hear it, you are. If I were... Vicky and I would have been best buddies all these years. Really? Why? Because we are both rich and powerful women. We both lived through some very difficult circumstances. Though well, Vicky never did get over her childish resentment towards me because I was once married to her father. Understandably, it must have been very difficult for her having such a young stepmother. However, Back to Texas, where you were so kind to me, a true lifesaver, a true friend. And when we got back here and I found out that Vicky was so special to you, I thought that that would get between us. And I was afraid that you would hate me. Dorian, I'm kind of an expert at losing friends, okay? I've been doing it my whole life and nobody's really missed me that much so you want me to believe that you think enough of my friendship of just a couple of weeks to come up with these cockamamie lies oh it's a bit odd getting a lecture about lying from you isn't it charlie b 